ladies and gentlemen a new formation is coming to rise of kingdoms the delta formation was just revealed and this says that it boosts the user's combo attack damage by 10 percent some of you have already been asking me in messages what is combo attack damage what are combo attacks so today we're going to go over what exactly combo attacks are and what this new formation might mean for the future of rise of kingdoms but first what's going on guys cheers now i gotta say this delta formation seems like it's sort of coming out of left field I didn't really see this coming maybe I missed something maybe they said that this was coming in like a patch note that I missed or a dev feedback or something like that but I personally was not expecting this especially not right now but the real question is what even is this and what does it do okay so the Delta formation is actually boosting a very specific type of damage that has been in the game for about a year now but a lot of people didn't even realize it because it didn't actually have a name now to understand combo attacks we first have to understand how regular attacks are done in rise of kingdom so what i'm going to do is actually attack this barbarian right here to give you guys an example and i want you guys to pay attention to a couple of things first of all i want you guys to pay attention to the white numbers and i want you guys to pay attention to what happens when i target this barbarian right i'm about to target them and what happens after a couple of seconds okay so here we go i'm going to target this barbarian and you'll see that there's 2000 and then my white numbers actually go up okay now that happened a little bit faster than i thought it would so let me break it down in the battle log okay on turn one remember i was the one that targeted the barbarian he was just standing there chilling he was doing nothing i decided to enter combat okay so on turn one i launch a basic attack against the barbarian and i deal a certain amount of damage and the barbarian launches a counter attack in response to that but look at the white numbers here on the first turn I only lose 267 troops but on the second third fourth turn etc I lose troops in the 400s okay so I actually lose less troops on the first turn than on the following turns and why is that well the reason for that is because since I attacked first okay the barbarian was kind of caught off guard and they were not targeting me they were just standing in the field doing nothing but once I started hitting the barbarian after that first turn then the barbarian turned around and started hitting me back okay so they then started targeting me and this is very important to understand how basic attacks and counter attacks work so on the first turn I launched a basic attack on the barbarian and that triggered the barbarians counter-attack but because that barbarian was not targeting me that first turn I initiated the battle with my targeting the barbarian did not launch a basic attack during that turn however on the second turn that's when the barbarian was fully engaged in battle it had turned around and started targeting me back on this turn I launched my basic attack okay and that triggers the barbarian counterattack just like on the first turn but unlike the first turn now that the barbarian is targeting me the barbarian launches its own basic attack against myself William Wallace and that basic attack triggers my counter attack okay now because the barbarian didn't target me on turn one I didn't actually do a counter attack on turn one because I was not attacked I was the one doing the attacking so in theory the amount of damage that I did on turn one should have been lower than turn two however I got lucky and casted my El Cid support skill okay so I actually dealt way more damage on turn one because I got super lucky that's why instant proc damage is broken by the way it's super good one turn you can deal basically an active skill but had I not done that I would have only dealt the 2005 unit damage that you see here whereas on all the following turns I deal in the four thousands okay and that's again because after the barbarian targets me I also launch a counter attack okay and so what you can see here is that every turn of a battle whether it's against barbarian or against a you know a rally or a garrison or open field fighting or whatever if you are hitting an enemy your basic attacks every turn are causing them to hit you with a counter attack okay and if that enemy then targets you they turn around and specifically click on your army then they are also launching basic attacks against you which triggers your own counter attacks and so in every single turn as long as both both targets are hitting one another there is two components a basic attack and a counter attack and a basic attack and counter attack combined in a given turn that is what's considered normal damage okay 
that is what we talk about when we say normal damage and the reason that it's called normal damage is because that's normally what happens every single turn like that's kind of what you would expect every turn the normal amount of damage is one basic attack and one counter attack now there's so, there are some exceptions to this right like first of all in the open field maybe you're targeting somebody that's not targeting you back maybe they're hitting someone else or one of your allies one of your other armies or whatever and in that case you are launching basic attacks and they are not launching basic attacks back they are only launching counter attacks back at you okay another example would be if you are hitting an army that's running away they're not hitting you back they're running they're trying to get out of the battle well in that case you're hitting them with basic attacks and they're hitting you with counter attacks okay so now that we know in a battle when both targets are hitting one another the normal damage is one basic attack and one counter attack for every single turn and if we look at the fourth skill on Joan of Arc, that's what this is referring to. This commander's troop deals 25% more normal damage. So this skill is actually very good because it boosts the damage of your basic attack and it boosts the damage of your counter attacks. Okay. And if we click on this, that's what the definition actually is of normal damage. Now we'll talk about smite damage in a minute, but the most important part to remember is that the normal damage buff includes damage dealt by basic attacks and counter attacks. This excludes ranged basic attacks and ranged counter attacks. Okay. We're not going to talk about ranged damage in this video, but now that we know what normal damage is, one thing that we can do is we can take a look at the fourth skill on Martell and we could say, well, wait a minute, this actually isn't as good as the fourth skill on Joan of Arc, right? because Charles Martel increases his counterattack damage by 30%, but this is only one half of your normal damage. Remember your normal damage is a basic attack and a counterattack. So in other words, Joan of Arc's fourth skill basically says this commander's troop deals 25% more basic attack damage and 25% more counterattack damage. Okay. So in the case of Charles Martel, yes, the number is higher, but this is not boosting his basic attack damage. And therefore this actually doesn't boost your smite damage either. Okay. And I think this is one of the things that people got confused about Charles Martel. People look at Charles Martel as a monster when it comes to white numbers, right? Especially if people try to swarm you down and that's true, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he's good to pair with a smite damage commander. Okay. Now that was me going off on a little bit of a tangent, but now that we understand what normal attacks and normal damage is we can take a look at combo attacks okay and here we have to take a look at Liu Che's expertise because this expertise has always functioned exactly the same since the day he came into the game however a few weeks ago maybe it was a few months ago the developers came in and actually reworded the way that this skill was was written that way people have a better idea as to what this actually is doing in the battle report okay remember when Liu Che first came out it said that he had a 25 percent chance to launch an extra basic attack that's what this said when he first came out however here we can read if this troop is on the map whenever their troop launches a basic attack okay so that's not a counter attack by the way that's your basic attack you have a 25 percent chance to launch one extra combo attack with a damage factor of 200 and gain one basic attack worth of rage this skill can trigger once per second okay now there's a couple of important things that we can learn from the wording of this expertise first of all a lot of your rage on the battlefield comes from you launching basic attacks and one of the things that was discovered a few months ago is that this extra attack that you're doing on the expertise and this was you know discovered before this was reworded but it was discovered that this is kind of giving you a rage engine, right? Because you get about, I think it's 86 extra rage every single time that this triggers and that's the basic attacks worth of rage. And so what was discovered is that you actually get a lot more rage because of this expertise skill, which is very good. Now the once per second trigger simply means there's no cooldown here, but what this means is that this can trigger at most once per turn, right? Like because you're launching a combo attack, can that combo attack also trigger this expertise? The answer is no. Okay. So at best you can get this once every turn. Now you could get it, you know, five turns in a row. If you got super lucky, there's no cooldown here, but it can only trigger at least once in a given turn. Okay. Now that we've talked about all of that, let's look at the combo attack definition. A combo attack is extra attacks triggered by basic attacks 
due to the effects of certain skills. Combo attack damage is only increased by bonuses to normal damage. And this is the important part. Combo attacks will not trigger enemy counter attacks. Okay. So what do we learn from this? Well, first of all, if we look at the damage factor, it says 200. This is the same damage factor as a basic attack. Okay. So don't get confused by this. This number isn't anything fancy. This is just what your, this is how much damage your basic attacks are normally doing. So nothing actually changes. But what this is saying is that a combo attack is effectively an extra basic attack, which remembers is actually what Liu Che's expertise originally said. Okay. So a combo attack is an extra basic attack that occurs as a result of certain effects. So you're never going to get a combo attack in regular gameplay, right? There's nothing that you can do with, let's say Guan Yu and Herald that combination will never launch a combo attack. There's nothing in their skills or talents that would launch a combo attack. And in fact, I think, and, and I could be wrong about this, but as far as I know, at the time of recording this video, Liu Che is the only commander in the game that launches extra combo attacks. Okay. So what this is saying is that a combo attack is basically a, an additional basic attack that occurs with certain effects. And the difference between a combo attack and a basic attack is that a combo attack does not trigger an enemy counter attack. Remember every turn that we attacked that barbarian, even on the turn when it didn't target us, the barbarian was dealing counter attack damage back to us. Right. And so the way that this combo attack works is, you know, imagine, imagine a world where Liu Che launched an extra basic attack. What that means is you would be dealing double the basic attacks in that single turn, but then you would also be taking double the counter attacks, right? Because we know that every basic attack triggers an enemy counter attack, even on the turn when the enemy barbarian was not targeting us, it was dealing a counter attack, which is evidence that my basic attack is what triggers the enemy counter attack. So if this simply triggered an extra basic attack, then there would actually be a downside to that, right? Because we would be taking double the counter attack damage for that turn which is, which would be kind of stupid, right? Why would there be a downside to this expertise? Like, I mean, I guess they could do that to like balance it out, but if you're going to do that, then it's like, well, what are you really doing? Right? Like you're dealing more damage, but taking more damage. That wouldn't be very good. You'd still get the rage, which would be nice. But regardless, the main difference here is that combo attacks do not trigger enemy counter attacks. Okay. So everything else about combo attacks is pretty much identical. Effectively, a combo attack is a basic attack. It's just something that was triggered by a skill like Liu Che, and it doesn't trigger enemy counter attacks. Now, the other important thing to know here is that combo attack damage is only increased by bonuses to normal damage. Well, this description is a little bit outdated now because we have the Delta formation coming into the game and the Delta formation specifically increases combo attack damage. Okay. And so this is getting a little bit confusing here because we also have smite damage. Okay. So what I want you guys to understand here, okay, is that a normal damage bonus. If we look at a commander like Joan of Arc, right? This normal damage bonus is going to boost a couple of things. First of all, it's going to increase the damage of your normal attacks. It's going to increase the damage of your counter attacks. It's also going to increase your smite damage, right? Because remember that was kind of the big thing about smite damage is that it is affected by bonuses to normal damage instead of skill damage. Okay. So that's kind of, kind of a, a little bit of a weird thing there, but basically smite damage is boosted by a normal damage damage bonus as well. And combo attacks are also increased by a bonus to normal damage. Okay. So when we're talking about basic attacks, counter attacks, smite damage, and combo attacks, all four of those things are boosted by normal damage. So you can think of normal damage as the tip of the pyramid. Okay. It is the king that rules over all these other types of damage. However, in the case of smite damage, there are some commander skills and talents that will boost just smite damage specifically. So remember before we talked about Charles Martel, his fourth skill boosts just counter attack damage and counter attack damage is a component of normal damage. Well, similarly to that smite damage is a damage boosted by normal damage, but you also have just bonuses to smite damage. Okay. So if you see a 10% boost to smite damage, then that is 
only boosting things that identify as smite damage so the active skill of william wallace is boosted by not only the smite damage bonus but also the normal damage bonus as well okay so in this regard a normal damage bonus is much better than a smite damage bonus because the normal damage bonus is going to increase the damage of your basic attacks and counter attacks as well as your combo attacks and that is the white numbers that you see every single turn okay whereas the smite damage bonus just boosts the smite damage okay hopefully you guys are understanding everything up until this point i know this is kind of confusing so what we know now is that this 10 percent smite damage bonus will not increase the damage of this combo attack because remember this combo attack damage is only boosted by normal damage okay and now this new delta formation which specifically boosts combo attack damage so remember how i said a normal damage bonus increases smite damage dealt and counter attack damage dealt etc but it doesn't work the other way around right a counter attack damage bonus doesn't increase the damage of your basic attack only your counter attack and therefore it doesn't increase your normal damage and therefore a bonus to counter attack damage does not boost your smite damage and likewise a bonus to smite damage does not increase your normal attack damage okay it only increases the smite damage so in that same logic this bonus to combo attack damage i suspect and of course this is not in the game for another seven days okay but i suspect that this will only boost combo attack damage and will not affect normal damage counter attack damage smite damage anything like that this is specifically just for combo attack damage okay so again normal attack damage is at the very top of the pyramid and then a branch of that is going to be combo attack damage okay and so now that we understand what combo attack damage is it's a basic attack effectively that does not trigger an enemy counter attack we have to ask ourselves well what's the point of this formation it seems like the, that Liu Che is the only commander in the game that launches extra combo attacks I don't see any extra combo attacks on any other commander in the entire game we just we don't see that okay we don't see that and so this has a few implications for the future of rise of kingdoms first of all I don't see a reason to use this new formation at the time of recording this the reason for that is because this new formation is only going to boost the combo attack damage of the expertise on Liu Che whereas if you use something like the arch formation right which we can see right here this boosts normal damage by five percent which means it boosts combo attack damage by five percent but it also boosts smite damage by five percent and because normal damage is a basic attack and a counter attack this also is kind of a five percent bonus to counter attack damage right so in a world where arch formation has a smaller damage bonus but it applies to more things i don't see a reason why you would use the new delta formation on liu che when the arch formation boosts you know smite damage right which is where a lot of the damage comes from from liu che and william wallace anyway this new formation does not make any sense at the time of recording this video but this new formation implies that in the future there could be more commanders that deal combo attack damage but it might not stop there what if we get you know a new accessory in the game that has a chance to launch a combo attack or what if the new formation has some inscriptions right that you know trigger combo attacks it could be the case that one of these inscriptions could be you have a 10 percent chance of launching a combo attack every turn right that could be something that would be wild so at the time of recording this it is unclear why they're implementing a new formation like this when there's only one expertise in the entire game one skill in the entire game or one method in the entire game of dealing combo attacks but the implication here is that in the future this could be an avenue that the developers go down for a, a new type of damage in the game now the reason that that's a little bit sketchy is because we we've seen this before right they've implemented many new uh formations of the game historically we got the his circle formation which increases healing and we also got the testudo formation which takes five percent less damage when shielded and increases healing and when these formations were announced the implication was that we would be getting perhaps more commanders that you know focus on shielding and focus on healing and since these came into the game we haven't seen that right we saw i mean obviously william wallace gives shields with his expertise but i mean it just 
you would think that if you're going to have a whole formation that there would be like commanders that are completely built around needing that formation and as as far as like the testudo and circle formation like sure if you were going to run like you know a richard martel then like maybe there's a, an argument for testudo formation but nobody runs that right those are not meta they're so far from the meta that it's not even something that people consider you would need a richard 2.0 and a charles 2.0 you know with like way higher stats and everything that to make these you know something that you would have to consider because i don't think i've seen anybody use either of these things in in any capacity right i don't see like a gorgo garrison using these i don't see i don't see any rallies using this there's none there's no reason right so when we look at this new this new formation coming to the game the delta formation you you might look at this and say okay well this implies that there are combo attack damage commanders coming down the pipeline and i think that's true i think that they're going to implement combo attack damage more abundantly in the game i don't think they're going to just leave it to liuche my point is that we've seen them add formations before where we thought that we would be getting new commanders with shields and healing and we kind of didn't right like we kind of didn't and so i'm really not sure uh, what the point of this new formation is i don't really understand why they would drop it now you would think that they would drop you know maybe a new commander or a new accessory or a new something that deals combo attack damage and then they would introduce this formation and be like okay this is the formation that you're supposed to use with Liu Che and whatever the case might be. So that's that. Now, one other thing that I want to talk about here is that right now, like I said, obviously Liu Che is the only commander in the game that deals combo attack damage, but maybe it's the case that they could give this new type of damage to cavalry. Like Liu Che could be the exception, but moving forward, maybe cavalry gets combo attack damage because right now it seems like smite damage is kind of infantry's thing. Of course, we have smite damage on the ranged commanders as well, but really you think when you think of smite damage you think of infantry commanders that's their thing we've seen two generations of infantry commanders come into the game now and both generations have focused on smite damage so much so that they got their own talent tree and yet we've not seen any archers we've not seen any cavalry get smite damage despite them having the ability to put it on like let's say belisarius prime right like they could have put it on him they didn't same thing with eleanor they didn't put smite damage here okay and so what i'm thinking is that maybe for cavalry they go all in on combo attack damage right and liu che is kind of just the the uh outlier right liu che was the beta version of combo attack damage he was the first to sort of test it out right and i think that this would make sense from a logical perspective right when you think about what is a combo attack it's the ability to deal multiple attacks in a single turn and what would a commander or a troop need in order to be dealing damage faster than other commanders or troops well you would want them to be faster right and the fastest troops in the game are cavalry and so i can imagine a world where you know a commander on a horse running around the battlefield filled with infantry and archers well you're going to be moving faster than everyone else because you're moving faster maybe you also can hit faster right you have the ability to deal damage at a faster rate because you're moving quicker on the battlefield that's kind of how i'm thinking about this and it wouldn't surprise me if they gave combo attack damage to cavalry and then they gave smite damage to infantry and then aoe skill damage is the thing that archers excel at already so they could keep going down that path that wouldn't surprise me also it's worth noting that i think attila is one of the main reasons why we didn't get smite damage for cavalry right they probably looked at this commander and was like okay we don't really know how to balance something this strong and even if you look at like Takeda for example he burns a target which makes you deal 50 percent more normal damage to that target it's kind of insane and so I feel like the developers possibly didn't know how to balance Attila and Takeda with the way that smite damage currently works but perhaps by introducing combo attack damage they could kind of stray away from that a little bit we did see that a bonus to normal attack damage does increase combo attack damage so i don't really know um maybe maybe i'm wrong here maybe combo attack damage would be broken for cavalry as well because of attila takeda i have no idea but i think in my head logically it makes sense that if any troop type was going to be able to deal multiple hits in a single turn it would be the fastest ones on the battlefield which would be cavalry right so that's kind of how i'm thinking about this in fact if we look at call of dragons call of dragons actually had more attacks in a single turn before liu che came into the game Sindrion is a legendary hero in the game and his active skill says 
his legion gains keenan rapid fire two buffs okay which increases their attack by 20 percent but also you launch additional normal attacks every second for up to seven seconds okay so for seven turns in a row you're dealing double damage okay now this is on a marksman and this kind of goes against my cavalry logic right perhaps in the future archers are going to be the one that get the combo attacks in rise of kingdoms similar to how it works here in call of dragons but what i'm trying to say here is that the developers are already familiar with dealing multiple attacks in a single turn because of call of dragons and then they kind of dip their toe in the water with liu che and so i think it would be reasonable to assume that in the future we see more commanders that focus on combo attack damage whether that is cavalry or archers right i don't know if it's it's probably not going to keep being infantry if it is then oh my god infantry are like broken they have so many different ways to deal damage i think they'll give it to calves or archers i think that's the future of one of these troop types we'll have to wait and see what that actually is going to be or maybe i'm just reading too far into this and they're just going to drop this formation like they did with testudo and the circle formation and then just not release any support for it at all and it's just going to sit there and collect dust and no one's going to invest in it right that could be the outcome as well we have no idea what the developers are thinking or what they're planning for the future but this new formation is coming to the game in one week okay and we do know that the next set of commanders to come out is archer maybe my prediction with cavalry is wrong maybe they'll do the same thing as call of dragons give the delta formation to archers okay and also that would kind of solve the attila takeda issue right attila takeda are broken with bonuses to normal damage and combo attacks are boosted by normal damage so maybe they just don't want to touch that with a 50 foot pole and so they give combo attacks to archers and maybe the next archer release is going to get that who knows guys hopefully you found this video informative hopefully you understand the different types of damage in rise of kingdoms a bit better now and if you did please drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it'll get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it we are so close to 75,000 subscribers so please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video and i want to know your thoughts on combo attacks what are your theories for the future of combo attacks and rise of kingdoms let me know in the comment section below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace